Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we have another LEGO Dimensions video for you. This happens to be a Doctor Who Easter egg. And it's the Lego Palace of Versailles. That's right. It's actually a reference to the Girl in the Fireplace episode, which happens to be Season 2, Episode 5. And, you know, this does require the Doctor Who level pack for Lego Dimensions. And uh, we can find this area in the Doctor Who level, a delectable adventure found in the starter pack itself. So we have kind of fast forwarded through about half of the level here. And you might remember this. We come to this room where there's like this giant giant opening and there's a couple of boxes we can smash and we actually need Gandalf up to the high left side here where we can drop this ladder down and we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick now once we're up here essentially what we're looking for is there's a there's like a claw uh, machine up there that we're gonna actually repair but we have to use it before we can repair it and in order to use it we have to do a bunch of other stuff so we have sped this video up a little bit in order to get to the sweet stuff and uh, as you can see, we just smashed a couple of boxes and built them up into a Batarang terminal. Then we used the Batarang terminal, which actually brought another claw in and gave us the rest of the pieces we needed in order to make a vehicle treadmill. Now, I want to point out, too, I missed a golden opportunity here in a minute. You know, this this is actually in reference to an episode that, that has the 10th Doctor. And I know a lot of you Whovians out there are going to be disappointed. I actually didn't switch to the 10th Doctor. I, I, I'm, I'm just now kind of realizing this as I was doing all my preparation and making sure that I had all the info right and I realized oh no even in my notes I had it I wanted to be the 10th doctor <laughs> uh, wah, 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 wah. well maybe next time and uh, all right so you can see we're doing this a little bit different than we did in the story in free play we're actually moving the first slideable piece over and in, in that corner over there and the reason is because it can be kind of tricky lining up this power core on the old checkerboard pathway so by putting that other piece back there, it actually gives us the perfect angle. And uh, as you can see, we push all the way up next to it, and booyaka shao. It actually enables us the ability to push it over to the left. Now, once we push that power core in, it actually is going to actually use the claw up above that we want, and it's going to pull up a keystone terminal. And uh, we're going to actually not pay attention to that real quick. We're going to pull out the doctor and use his sonic screwdriver to go ahead and repair these blue flashing bricks over here. So, like I said, I apologize. I know you Whovians are going to be disappointed in me that I pulled out the 12th doctor. But it was just the stock doc, and I didn't even think about it. And, boy, these... Uh, they keep grabbing me. Oh, and look at that. You guys know what that is. That's Pandorica. Pandorica was part of the Whovian uh, uh, folklore, and it's basically a, a, it was a prison developed to kind of encase the Doctor, but uh, it turns out it was pretty easy to open from the outside and didn't really keep the Doctor locked in. But it's it, from the inside, it's considered to be a perfect prison. But uh, we're going to go ahead and use Gandalf's magic to shake Pandorica up, and it drops a bunch of pieces that we can build up into a TARDIS travel station. We're going to pull out our TARDIS, and we're going to travel away. This is actually where I slow it down a little bit, and check this out. Shut up, shut up, shut up, up, up. Got to love it. Got to love it. You know, I've become a Doctor Who fan in the last probably year and a half or so, and a lot of it has to do with Lego itself. I know a lot of my friends watch it too, um, but I've certainly grown to uh, enjoy it, as has my wife. So uh, we haven't learned everything yet. We're still learning the names and remembering things and watching episodes. So uh, forgive me if I botch some of these terms and whatnot. But uh, we actually found this area, and, and as you can see, we're on like this weird spaceship, and there's a fireplace over here too. Um, and that's direct reference to the episode basically in the episode uh, the doctor uh, materializes the ship inside or materializes the TARDIS inside this ship and they're kind of like looking around they don't really know where they are and they see a bunch of broken stuff and then all of a sudden the doc notices this fireplace and when he looks through it he actually sees this young girl and he can talk to her and um, through, basically time moves differently on this ship than it does on the other side of the fireplace and anyhow, uh, if you guys are interested, definitely check that out. Meanwhile, we're actually uh, still on the ship, and we've used the Batmobile Build 3 and used the Sonic abilities of it to go ahead and shatter that glass. Now, there's a few other characters and uh, vehicles that can actually make that happen as well, but whichever you prefer, shatter that glass and go ahead and uh, build the bricks up and spin the lever around to reveal a Batarang terminal. Go ahead and use the old Batarang. And check it, check it out. What do we got? It's the horse. 
Now, if you've seen the episode, this is pretty cool, too, because uh, there's a bunch of weird things that happen, but there's certainly a horse that comes running through, and uh, in this particular case, it leaves behind a mini kit. So, woohoo! And look at that, it also dropped a little poiple, too. I don't know if you remember the old poo studs, but it's uh, kind of what that reminded me of. All right, so now that we've got the mini kit inside here, we can go ahead and step on the old switch right there by the fireplace. And look at that. It spins door, spins around, and we find another mini kit. And now we're actually inside one of the buildings or inside the Palace of Versailles. And in this particular case, it's inside Renette's room. Um, now, right off the bat, we see that there is a spot where we can use Gandalf's magic. We use it, and look at that! We actually reveal one of the Clockwork Men, or Clockwork Droids, depending on which you prefer to call him. And uh, these were all a part of the episode as well, and are very cool. Now, there are three Clockwork Droids that we need to find in this area, and uh, we're going to show you a cool little Easter egg on top of the Easter egg. And uh, bounce on the bed. Normally you get studs for rapidly bouncing on the bed. But in this particular case, we get some bricks. And look at that. We build them up into another uh, clockwork droid. I was going to say a minifig, but uh, clockwork droid is a little more appropriate. Now in the corner over here, we can see we've got all sorts of stuff. Whoopsie. Little musical characters there. I switched to the wrong one. We're going to go ahead and call on Batman. -na 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 -na. We're going to use his grapple too. And we're going to rip this open. And guess what? We found some bananas. And as, oh, look at that. Another clockwork droid. So all three of the clockwork droids have officially been revealed. And uh, so check it out. W w why is there three and this and that? Well, I don't know, but we're going to play a little tune for you over here. We can see that there are some gold treasure chests and even a gold harp. And uh, so we're going to call on our good buddy Cyborg here in a second. I get a little button happy here, and I was like, wow, what's going on here? There's still a mini kit icon flashing here. We're going to go ahead and destroy this. And once we get in behind, no, still, still nothing. Oh, but wait. Turns out if you smack the old clockwork droids, you actually get uh, a little notation. In this case, it shows that there are three, and we got all three of them. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take them all down. So you want to dance? You want to do some dancing? Cha, 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 cha. All right. Oh, look at that. Man down, or clockwork droid down. And uh, we got a mini kit for that. So all of a sudden, that arrow over in the corner has now disappeared. And uh, that's why there was three. I was kind of pulling your leg for a second there. But all right, like I said, we're going to call on Cyborg, and we're going to use his heat ray to go ahead and melt these gold items in the front left corner. And once we get all three of these melted down, we can actually build them up into a piano. Now, it doesn't really matter if you do this before or after find, well, after destroying the clockwork droids. But you can go ahead and build up the piano, use Gandalf's magic, and look at this. It not only dances and sings a tune for us and gives us a mini kit, but wait for it. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiri. Let's go dance with the clockwork droids. All right, nine of ten mini kits. That actually gives us all of the kits we can find at this point because one of them actually requires a character that's not available yet. So, unfortunately, we can't get all ten for this level, but we're going to dance a jig in excitement and joy anyways. And uh, these guys just kind of dance around until you destroy the piano, which you don't have to, but you can. And, uh, ooh, what was that in the front right side? May I might have missed something. I might have missed something. We'll see here in a second. I think I get to the front right side of the room here, but... Uh, obviously, in the back right corner of the main entrance area here, there is a gold cage. And nope, I get everything. I was gonna say I thought I, I thought I could have missed something behind that little wall poking up there, but nope, I get it all. But uh, you can go ahead and destroy that by melting it with your heat ray. Oh, some more bananas or bananas, as we like to say. Say. And uh, all right, so over in the corner, we've, you probably noticed there's a bunch of blues and purples and golds. Oh my! Over in the far corner, kind of in the hallway outside of the bedroom here, and we're just milking this room for as much studage as possible. We thought we might find something extra special hiding in one of those, and little musical characters again to get us back to Cyborg, so we can melt this cage. And all right, what do you think? Take a guess. Which color are we gonna get? Which color are we gonna get? Oh, Booyaka Shao! Our luck's been pretty awesome with that lately. We've uh, quite a few of those we got the poiples even in our uh level two oh see look I, I destroyed all i destroyed the piano and they all just droop down but we can build it right back up and wait for it you have to actually have to use gandalf's magic again or or somebody with magic it doesn't have to be gandalf i suppose we know that there's at least one other character the wicked witch i'm sure there's probably a few others that i'm 
not thinking of right now or maybe unaware of that are coming soon. All right, when you're all done, you can go ahead and spin to win and return back to the ship itself here. Now, like I said, uh, you know, time certainly uh, travels differently in, uh, on the ship versus in the other area, but it didn't kind of reference that, although Gandalf is old and gray. Um, yeah, it didn't, it didn't make note of that. But, hey, I, I'd like to give props to the developers. These guys have done a great job with all these little, you know, homage and, and uh, Easter egg type situations. I mean, yes, this is part of a level, but some people don't get to experience this because they don't have the TARDIS and Doctor Who. So um, it is kind of an Easter egg. And anyways, um, oh, to the yeah, that's the final screen, which can only mean one thing, that that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Dimensions, the Palace of Versailles Doctor Who Easter egg. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we got more videos coming for LEGO Dimensions, including a full series that we just started yesterday with all 140 mini kits. So we're not going to be able to do all of them right away, but as the kits come out and we'll get them and we're able to get the levels, we'll go ahead and knock those out. So, hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is about ready to get a pretty major facelift. We've got a, a couple of uh, writers writing some content for it, so we'll be looking for some new stuff there. Uh, be looking for a new trophy achievement guide, too. A lot of you guys have been asking if we're going to do LEGO Marvel Avengers come January, and yes, we are. And Dougie's going to do a full guide and all that, so expect lots in that department as well. Uh, but as for me, that's going to wrap it up for now. As always, until next time, 